in this episode we will add routing in our application and to add routing we need to install a package called react router dom so let's do that open your terminal or go to your command prompt and make sure you are on the right path and what we'll do is npm install react router dom Now that React Router DOM is installed, we will go back to our text editor and to properly add uh, the necessary routes because in our application we will only be having three routes that is sign in, sign up, and the dashboard. So let's first create those three components and then we'll come back to our app.js to add those routes, okay? So in our SRC, I will add a new folder and I'll call this folder component. So all our components, we will store them in this folder. And in this folder, I'll also add another folder. And uh, this folder will be for auth. So all the auth files uh, or components, we'll store them in the auth folder that is sign in, sign up, and now we can create uh, a new component and this is sign in and I'll call it .jsx and the reason for this is to allow my code formatter to properly format the code and I'm using Prettier that is an extension to format my code and also I'll add another file and this is sign up dot jsx so this is sign in and then state we will leave it as empty and uh, at the render function I will return a react fragment and then uh, inside here I will return a h3 with sign in just to know which component we are in and I'll copy this component there it is it's a cross based component and uh, go to sign up and paste it here okay and one more thing we need to import react and component so at the top here import react and also component and then this is from react I will save that and also we need to import the same in our sign in component I will paste it right there and save that component so one more thing in our sign up we need to differentiate this component because this is sign in but we are on our sign up component so I will change this from sign in to sign up and down here from sign in to sign up and also in our H3 so that we know that we are on the sign up component so I will save that so one more component that I need to create is the dashboard component so inside our components folder I will add a new folder and I'll call this folder dashboard and then inside this dashboard folder I will add a new file and I will call it dashboard.jsx and you can notice the difference between uh, the naming here I'm starting this one with capital letter and this one with a small letter right there I'll create a stateless functional component right here and I'll call it dashboard and uh, I will return uh, react fragment so these are empty tags 
and inside this empty tags I will return a h3 just to know that we are in dashboard okay like that and also I need to import the react at the top here okay that way I will save that file now we have uh, the three components that we want to load on our routes so I'll go to the app.js and the first thing that I want to do is to import a component from react router DOM package and this component is a browser router what browser router does is grab the history object in the browser and pass it down to the component tree so I will import browser router right here and this browser router is from a react router dome okay so we need to wrap the content of our app with this browser router component so I will add browser router right here browser router and close it so I'll copy this one cut and pass it down here and paste it there so we are wrapping all the content of our app with this browser router component from react router dome and another component that we need to import is the route so I will import this component and what this component does it help us to register our routes so uh, just after this I will add a route and this route have uh, several props the first one is path so this will set the the URL that we want to road and then the next one is component and this will set uh, the component that we want to load on this particular path okay and this we can close it now so the first path I want us to load is the signing path and then the component will be this particular component right here so sign in so if I press this it will auto import at the top here so make sure that you also import it so I will copy this and paste it three times the next component that I want us to load is a sign up component and the path will be sign up and the component will be sign up and when I press this it will auto import at the top here so make sure you also import that component and then the last component I want to load is dashboard and it will be our home page so dashboard and it have auto imported right there and I will save this file and go back to the browser and see what we have so you can see in the home page we have this particular content that we added right here okay this one right here that do up content and then we are loading the dashboard component on this particular path so let's try to uh, navigate to these other components so I'll place slash sign up and when this roads you can see that our sign up component is being loaded but we also have a weird behavior that our dashboard is also loaded so if I go to the sign in and let's see if it's uh, going through we have sign in component is loaded and also dashboard is also loaded so how we can avoid this weird behavior we don't want dashboard to be loaded 
every time we are loading the sign in and sign up we can uh, solve this using two ways we can add an exact here so this will make sure that uh, if the, this path is exact it's the only time that dashboard will be loaded so if I save this and go back to the browser and wait for it to refresh you can see that dashboard have disappeared so this is now working nicely another way that you can resolve this is by using the switch which will render the first child that matches the location so what that means is that the first child or the first route that will match the path is the one that will be loaded and it won't load the rest just to show you how switch works I will import a component here switch and I will wrap all our routes uh, inside the switch component so switch and this is a component I will cut the crossing and paste it at the bottom so we are wrapping all our routes inside switch and if I remove the exact and save this file go back to the browser you can see that our dashboard component is not loaded so our routes are now set up and and we won't be adding any other routes in future in this application the only thing that we'll be using are links so that's it for this episode and i will see you on the next episode where we will start styling our different components using bootstrap